Climate change is, is one of the problems that we face as a result of our emissions. I think what tends to happen is that we forget that there are two problems because of emissions. Climate change is the temperature related problem which, which is uh, potentially damaging because storms, cyclones, floods, droughts will cost the earth a lot and will cost humanity a lot. But we forget that our emissions are also destroying tropical coral reefs. And the reasons for that are twofold. One is of course that as the temperature rises, the corals bleach much more. In other words, they, they just expel the coral and the algae which keeps them, them alive. And secondly, bleached coral does not regenerate fast because the oceans have become more acidic or less alkaline. And the reason for that is that carbon dioxide has been dissolving in the oceans, making them more acidic or less alkaline. And this is the challenge that tropical coral reefs, once they are bleached, stand less and less of a chance of coming back to life as a result of acidification and temperature rise together. So we have two problems. And the big challenge here is how do we get around the fact that the scientists are telling us that at any level of carbon dioxide concentration above 350 parts per million, we can probably just might as well forget about tropical coral reefs. We can effectively kiss goodbye to tropical coral reefs. That would be a tragedy. Not only a tragedy because one fourth of all fish species live in the tropical coral reefs, but also because half a billion people, that's 500 million people, depend upon the supply of fish, depend upon the tropical corals for their food and their livelihood. Who is going to look after them if or when this disaster comes true because we are losing the tropical corals, we have lost 20% already and the rate of loss is increasing. So we really need to act fast on the whole issue of emissions, not just for increasing temperatures and climate change reasons, but also because of corals.